Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts, continuing my adventure of Superman, of course, with episode two, part two of the episodes that aired last night, of course, first on Adult Swim, thing got released this morning at 9 a.m. my time on Max, and I'm excited to get into the second episode, because that first episode of my adventure of Superman was really good. I really enjoyed that first episode. I love the fact that the opening, literally the very first thing you see is Clark saving a mother and child from wrecking their car into the street, and that's when he first manifested his powers. And then later in the episode, which I thought when we got to the present day, uh, times over whatever to present day that he would be already be Superman right in Metropolis turns out he's not and he had to wear this like version of a construction uniform or whatever to stop these robots that were being used or whatever for bad or whatever and there's these uh, people stealing tech and robots and stuff and trying to sell them to buyers that apparently mysteriously are just not showing up or whatever and so he had to put on this like construction kind of uniform to hide his face or whatever because Jimmy and Lois was there, of course, because Jimmy and Clark's first day at the Daily Planet and everything is when all this is going down because Lois is trying to break the story and he's fighting these robots and then he has another burst of some sort of energy or his powers manifested even more because he had to save Lois and he took out the robot way more efficiently and then there was a cut to somewhere, I believe, somewhere on the Kent farm, I'm guessing, when he landed on Earth and something happened there and the crest that you know the s on his chest highlighted but he's not wearing a superman suit so i don't know what's going on but of course at the end of the episode lois is like i gotta interview the superman because she immediately named him the superman um because we have to find him because he saved us and everything he stopped his robots and jimmy got these really blurry images but i gotta interview i gotta interview the superman so we'll see what happens because of course she's like you know no more secrets because she lied or whatever about what they were doing because like perry's fine he'll let us go and she lied and he was pretty upset about that um so we'll see what happens we'll see but i, I really enjoyed that first episode i can't wait to dive into now guys so here we go my adventures with superman episode two let's go oh the answers to everything you want to know whoa we think they're all in there. The blue, the same color. Okay. Hello? Kal El what? Oh! Krypton. Krypton? Oh, it cut away because he got off. Cover it back up. We don't know what this is or who sent it. This is dad, but we think we think it's dad at least. If I came from that, who am I? Once again, who am I? I feel bad for him because he's like, I'm confused. Say hello to our new office. Oh my god. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. It's She's ready for anything. For us to work on our murder board. I know what Superman is. Huh? He's an alien. Mm, he's right. He is right about this. Why is it so dark in here? Wait, don't look. I'm doing a thing. Uh, 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 boom. Taking this jacket Superman wore and finding someone who can run his DNA off it. Ooh. If we break this, we would have died without him. That's true. A man true. flew down from the yep. sky and risked his life to save us. Maybe something I ate. Oh, I should take care of this. Uh, see you later. See you later. <laughs> Come on, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, who are they? And that flying freak of yours following me around. Yours. So let's talk. Hey, Ma. Clark. Hey. Timing. I'm making pie, and your pa is just fretting about leftovers. Oh, Clark. Look, they don't know it was me, but they know that someone rescued them, and now Lois, there's this girl, Lois, and there's a girl, you know. Like, I need to go back to the ship. Oh. It's happening. Hold up. I'm going to need some more info before I go looking for the woman who tried. Me are both interns. We're equal. Yeah, well, mm. Mm. raise your hand. Again. You like him. No. I mean, I, I I like him. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Professionally. <laughs> I like how Jimmy's the one to figure this all out. <laughs> I have photos of the boat the scary lady stole. So find the of course boat. he does. Of course, those are crystal clear photos. I don't like this, John. Mm. about a boy digging up his childhood spaceship? Hey, well, what about it? In the world. How big is it? It grew. Okay, let's do it again. I know who you are. You're my son. Oh. Come 
on the arms to fiber on. Speak for Tony, obviously, but we don't. Uh, he didn't understand. Don't here. follow the tracks from the ship no, into there. Come on. This <laughs> Team Lois and Jimmy are on the trail. Smile for Clark. Oh, it's Sonny's father, Benny. I know you're trying, but I, I can't understand exactly. you. Exactly. He's cutting. What's happening? What's happening? I just asked that question first. Yeah. Okay. Who is it? Are you my Yes, father. Damn right is it. Right. Oh, wow. If this is my past. Ooh, okay, it's happening. Okay, okay. I like that. That's a cool shot. Yeah. you are but you're something else now too a belt definitely shorts come with me yeah i'm gonna get out now i to go i have something you want you have something what's I want. that let's trade what do you want you have no idea what kind of technology you're dealing with mm. Then I'd say it's a good thing I planted explosives all over the city. <laughs> them again? They're not with them. Oh, God. You're right. Ooh. I am okay. the smartest one here. Whoa. Don't hurt Jimmy. Don't hurt Jimmy. The shorts add a lot, don't they? Clark, I... That's some get up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, your phone. My God. Careful. Ooh. Oh, damn. Okay. You run, run. Love that shot. Love that. Do you have a comment for the Daily Planet? Yep. Oh, maybe not right now. Ooh. You will make me lose my robot! I mean, yeah. My operation. There's explosives in the sewers! Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh. Eh, eh. Oh. Why don't you just die already and get out of my Exactly, yep. Maybe that wasn't the brightest idea? Oh god, it's, it's getting worse. It's getting worse. What? What were those visions? What were those visions? Oh, the music. Get a good photo? Got a good photo. Oh, the photo of I holding. Stop the yeah. Hey, yo, Lois. <laughs> hey, yo. How was work today? It was phenomenal. Crazy. Perry literally stopped the presses. Lois Lane? Are extraordinary. Mm. Oh. And uh driven? Well, I stand by it. Oh good. You're both here. You have to see this. Look oh, so at close. Best copy of tomorrow's paper. By Cat Grant, Ronnie Troop, and Steve Lombard. What? What? Look at it, Mac. Nemesis Omega. Zero Day. Task Force X. Tell us what you know. Task Force X. Tell you what a bunch of gibberish means? <laughs> The flying man. Tell us the flying man. Know. He's not with you? We're the good guys. Now tell us everything you know. Is that Ben Waller? I was going to the voice cast to confirm that that was a version of Livewire or that was Livewire because I'm like the electrical powers and everything. But then I see this. Chris Parnell is Agent Slade Wills. I, what? Maybe I missed that. Did I miss that at some point earlier in the episode that was said? I don't know. But that was crazy okay let's get to the review holy crap this was a great episode of the show holy crap i think this was better than episode one i think episode one works as it is but i think what makes episode two better is because of what was established the foundation of episode one i think episode two is benefiting of course off of how i think pretty good episode one was because it opens this episode with you know clark 
realizing, okay, I came from this ship that's buried underground here somewhere out on the farm. And he goes and steps on it. It lights up the blue, like his eyes and everything from episode one, when he manifests his powers and everything. And then later in the episode, when he's saving Lois and then the Jor- Jor-El and these pillars, and it's about to take him down. But then he stops because, you know, Martha's about to fall in. So he stops. He doesn't want to know anything about it because he's scared. He doesn't know. He's a kid, obviously. So I, he wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. So in this episode, as it was kind of established in episode one, Clark asked, who am I? And at the end of the, the, the flashback, the opening of the episode here again, he says, who am I? He, he asks us the question again. And that's a common theme leading up to the point where he goes back to the Kent farm. And thankfully, they confirmed that Martha and jo- John, they're both alive. Okay, because as we know with the continuity of Superman, when he becomes Superman or whatever, and that may still occur, we might lose one or both of them. But as we know, in terms of certain continuity, depending on the timeline, you know, he loses, you know, Pa pa can't goes, Martha might go at the same time, or Martha might die for, like, there's a lot of, and there's other times, of course, they live for quite some time and everything. I think in Young Justice, that happens where they're both alive, or I think at least one of them is alive for quite some time in the timeline. I think Martha's alive in the Young Justice timeline. Anyways, getting off track. But you know what I'm saying? So I wasn't sure if they were going to address, okay, so now he's back at Kent Farm and he's going back to the ship that they're both gone or one of them's gone, but they're both there, thankfully. And then he gets transported. And that's where he sees Jarrell. And Jarrell's talking Kryptonian, so he doesn't understand him. He's trying to figure out what And then he sees Krypton's explosion. Now, a lot of the times in the continuity of the origin of Clark, Kal-El, when he's getting sent away from Krypton, he gets sent away on a ship, and then soon after the explosion of Krypton, where everything is obliterated, he, his his pod literally got sent up as soon, like like not even f- three, four, five seconds. His parents both are perished, immediately die as soon as the pod is pretty much out, off <laughs> off screen. Boom, explosion. And um, it was pretty crazy. You know, we've we've seen Krypton explode, of course, a million times at this point <laughs> with the Superman continuity. But I think it's like for Clark to see it, like himself see it. We've seen that, of course, at times as well. But I think this made more of an impact because they show at the beginning of this episode, um, episode two, obviously, he's about to be shown all this, but he he doesn't. He's like he's questioning him. He start he's he's crying. He's scared. Of course, episode one, he's questioning that as well when he's a kid. And then he's questioning it again when he's there saving Lo- uh, saving uh, after saving Lois, stopping the robot and everything. And Lois, of course, helping and all that. In episode one, he says, who am I? He questions that again. So now he sees his origin, where he came from, realizing he isn't human, right? He, he knew this already, but double confirming it. He gets the suit. It's, however, Martha adds some touches to it. I think she changes some of the coloring as well, but she, ultimately the belt with the red trunks. Now, I saw something online where some, cause there was an image, I guess from maybe after the episode aired, I can't remember, but it was on Twitter. And if someone had said something about, it was before the trunks, the trunk, the red trunks and the belt was put on. It was, I think it's the shot of him floating after getting out of the, out of the ship, right? Getting the suit for the first time and the transformation. <laughs> There's a lot of discussion about the transformation, but I was like, you know, Hey, it's whatever. First time getting the suit, right? So it'd be epic epic like that um but people are saying uh, the, the one individual who got a lot of attention on twitter is saying how this is before the trunks and the belt that you know martha gave to them that that he had the perfect suit before that and so it's it's it's, it's, a, it's the continuing debate of the trunks or no trunks for superman you know people say it's classic for superman to have the red trunks and there's obviously a lot of iteration superman nowadays it doesn't have the red trunks the question is now are we going to have the red trunks of superman and superman legacy coming out from james gunn and peter saffron the new dcu all that i'm fine with superman i'm fine with the red trunks because it's classic superman and in, in terms of the tone of the show even though it's definitely got a little darker and I'm pretty sure that was Amanda Waller at the end there as well, right? I'm pretty sure, like, we're getting some darker storytelling as well in terms of, like, some serious stuff. But the tone of this is very light because while all this is going on of him, like, learning all this stuff and seeing Jarrell and not understanding what's happening, gets the suit for the first time, seeing Krypton exploding, we have Jimmy and Lois going off the beaten path following this tunnel that has all these explosives. And Livewire set all this stuff up. 
in meeting, I'm assuming that's who, that was Slade Wilson that she was sp talking to and fighting at, at a bit. And then when she revealed that she had this electrical power, like the suit or whatever, I was like, holy crap. And then as it kept going, I'm like, she's like, she's glowing blue at a certain point with like a giant, because he went and go stabbed her at that like power source in the back. It actually backfired because it got really bad. Um, Cause she's like, like creating this ball of energy and like all the vehicles are being pulled in. Clark is still learning. He's still learning how to be Superman, so it's obviously not going to be like, he's amazing, 10 out of 10 of being Superman. But ultimately, he wasn't trying to fight her. He was trying to help her. And he did. He ultimately helped stop her or whatever. Um, not obviously by fighting her, but just trying to figure this out. Like the first time he's out being Superman, right? Being su the Superman, as Lois phrased it, uh, as called him. Of course, she was taken, and then she's being questioned. And she's like, wait, wait, he's not with you? Because he asked the floating man, who is he? She's like, because she thought that, you know, you're because when she talked to the thing like, you know, like stop saying your, your your forces and your, you know, and Superman didn't say the word Superman, but she thought that the army or whatever or black ops or whatever were sending the floating man or whatever or Superman or whoever this guy was. It's like, no, he, he's trying to figure all this out. Well, and then we're realizing there's a lot of more stuff going on at play here in terms of black ops, task force X. The Suicide Squad or a thing, I guess, or a version of them or a thing in this continuity so far. So I think, so in, in, here, here's what's interesting. I had said in episode one that maybe we're going to start expanding more outside of traditional Superman stuff. And what's the bigger part of the world going on? And we've already been introduced to now, <laughs> like... Slade Wilson, Livewire, which is a Superman villain. Uh, I, 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 I need to look into it. If like if she's a version of Livewire or a, a one of the variations, or the actual original Livewire, I don't I don't know. I have to look in that and turn to Wikipedia because I don't know 100 the original the actual name of Livewire. But regardless, that's cool that she was brought into the mix here, and I'm guessing she's still going to play a role. I would think later on because who knows. But um, but you have Slade Wilson, and I'm assuming that was Amanda Waller that was standing. I don't know who the, I don't know who that guy was there too. But I'm assuming that was Amanda Waller with Wilson. We'll see. But Task Force X main drop last episode they dropped um, name dropped the psychic um, the psychic starfish or whatever, or basically referring to Starro. <laughs> so there's definitely some things that they're referring to here. I'm, I'm wondering how far we're going to go in terms of characters we're going to meet. Who knows? Who knows? But I really enjoyed it. Like seeing the suit, the transformation, all that kind of stuff, and seeing Clark trying to learn all this, and he's still learning this. And of course, and him and Lois about to kiss. Are we getting close to? It? And then Jimmy's there. I got look, look, look. We broke the story, but Cat Grant and some other people got the freaking byline. So Perry didn't give them the story. They broke the scoop. They broke the story. And Jimmy had a perfect image of when Superman first showed up, holding that. Uh, what was it like a bus or something and was floating above Jimmy and Lois that was a perfect image and of course they don't get that they don't get the uh, they don't get the credit <laughs> so I wonder how long he's going to be able to keep this secret especially from Jimmy and Lois because of them supposed to be being a team together like how often can he keep the secret I'm assuming at some point down the road in this first season they're going to find out that's just my guess because I don't know how long you can keep it interesting and believable that both Jimmy and Lois don't know because now he's Superman now he is out there the story broke in Metropolis there's no going back from this so at a certain point you can't because see that that was the problem that a lot of the Arrowverse shows ran into when it came to uh, Oliver Queen Barry Allen at a certain point these people had to start finding out because you can't like you start losing the believability of them of people continuously around these characters not knowing the truth so i'm not saying lois needs to find out in episode three or jimmy needs to find out in episode four i'm saying i'm thinking towards the end of the season something's going to happen in the storyline this is my theory i have no idea that something's going to happen to where they're going to find out we'll see we'll see what happens but uh, based on these first two episodes, I'm excited for the continuation of the show. I cannot wait to see what happens next. I really enjoyed how they established and set the foundation of this show. The tone of it is nice. I'm really excited, looking forward to it. So what do you guys think of the episode? I'm curious to know your thoughts, guys. What do you think of the first two episodes overall? What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Can't wait to see more. Talk to you guys soon. Peace out.